Rwanda, uh, as one of the producing countries of coffee, definitely uh, becomes uh, one of also the traded commodity, and again is one, one of our major exports. So today's uh, auction, online auction, is one of the, the trading mechanism or platform or tools that we use to sell uh, coffee to different uh, coffee buyers across the world. Uh, the Cup of Excellence is, uh, is, uh, is uh, one of the, those programs that aims at competing uh, different uh, pr coffee producing countries to source those great coffee, rare coffees, the best coffee uh, from those uh, countries of origin. Uh, Rwanda has been one of the first African country to enroll and to be allowed to run such a program. Uh, at the end of a very rigorous uh, competition uh, through um, national and international uh, qualified cuppers, um, they select uh, the best coffees through a number of series of uh, competition, of course, uh, where they evaluate which coffee has uh, the greats, uh, the highest quality in terms of flavors, in terms of aromas, in terms of taste and aftertaste. Then uh, from there, the, the winning ones, what we call the, winner, the winners of the Cup of Excellence competition, now they're the ones that are sold at the highest bidder at, through the online platform, the, through the online auction, which is taking place today. Rwanda for at certain times uh, in the last eight years where we have Cup of Excellence have become among the, the countries that have the top high priced coffee. So you said Rwanda is one of the first African countries that were allowed to run this particular program. So what did it take for the country to, qual to qualify? Actually it's, one, it's not one of, it is the first African country. So then later came Burundi after like four years that we have started uh, because this was initiated in 2007 actually as a trial but the real competition started in 2008. So this year it's our eighth times after 10 years of celebrating Cup of Excellence. Some of the preconditions for being uh, a role to, lo to get into this competition, they evaluate the country's performance in terms of uh, how far, how much, uh, what kind of quality of coffee that you produce. Uh, if you recall, where Rwanda, uh, one of uh, the, inter the one of the focus is to produce uh, high quality coffee because, as a country, we can't produce such a huge volume like even in our neighboring countries like Uganda, even compared to Kenya. Uh, but we can produce the highest quality, and that's our competitive advantage, and uh, that's what we focus. So, looking at the efforts that were put in place uh, through uh, the government of Rwanda and uh, together, of course, with uh, the private uh, operators in coffee, uh, since uh, 2000, uh, if you see 2001, at that time where we have only one coffee washing station, that means uh, a station that can produce consistently high quality coffee. And if you look at today, we are at almost uh, 300 and more. Uh, station coffee hosting station across the country. That means that uh, there is a lot of efforts going on, and uh, those partners have realized after seven years that uh, after 2001 and coming to 2007, that uh, the effort that government was putting in place, the private sector together, to promote only high quality coffee was really recommendable. And that's why they said Rwanda, among the African country, will be the best country to start with uh, rolling the, such a program in Africa. Like you said, this is particularly meant to, to, to attract buyers from uh, different countries. So maybe for us to understand how impactful this exercise has been, uh, could you have an estimate of numbers of maybe the companies that pa participated in the initial auction? And the current one, if you, for us to just compare. Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, we, we we can see uh, a lot of uh, entrants. I mean, entry routes in terms of uh, many farmers, many coffee washing stations. Every single year, they are willing to take part into that, and they are now getting aware. They're getting. Uh, uh, they get to understand that uh, it's one of the additional tool, a very special, important tool, and the avenue to market their coffee. So if you compare to the last year, this is the only year that we've registered a high number of registered lots. This year, we registered 340 lots. When compared to last year, it was only 217 lots. So almost 100 and a uh, few uh, and 20 lots more. 
that, that, that to us, it's also a, a win, I mean, an opportunity to evaluate, to see the progress of the such a quality growth because uh, being able to 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 be I mean to to apply to register to to to, to attend this cup of excellence, you have to comply with certain criteria, mainly on quality. So if more 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 attendance, that means the quality the, the, the quality level is really improving. In addition to that, when we started the cup of excellence 2008, the passing score was 84. Now every year night has moved to 84, 85. Now we're 86. Now you can imagine, we started with 84, we are now up to 86. I mean, and you're still getting more people, more coffees that are being uh, eligible for, for such a competition. It's a, uh, it's uh, that gives us a uh, trust, that gives a uh, confidence that uh, uh, there is a, a positive uh, uh, improvement when uh, when you're talking about quality. There is a put uh, an improvement in terms of people understanding how this can be a very useful tool. There is uh, this kind of enthusiasm among farmers that I won't take part into that, and then they can be able to commit to, to make the right coffee. Uh, uh, final one, you did not mention the number of uh, the buyers. You talked about more local companies or coffee washing t stations participating, but buyers from abroad, like you said, more than 80 are mm. participating currently, but do we know who the number of companies that participated back in 2018, 2008? Well, uh, here, there's the, the something that we, I want to really make it clear. We may, this year we have, as I said, we have registered about 80 companies that have registered on this platform to bid for those coffee. This may depend the year to year, but we've seen a growth in terms of people just uh, wanted to, to buy, to take, to register. If you look at the last time, last year and two years ago, when uh, in, in 2015, when we were, we were running the, the previous Cup of Excellence, we were, we were having about 60 companies. So this year we're having 80 companies. But the buyers at the end of the day is those that put the highest bid. One company may buy more than one lot. There may be few buyers who, pay, who are ready to pay the highest price, but the competition has been very harsh because of so many buyers. So that's, that's what it determines, uh, that's what makes it. You may not have uh, so many buyers at the end of the day because of who depends on whoever puts more money, but the competition shows the, l the large number of registered uh, bidders shows the interest uh, among different buyers to come and uh, bid for uh, Rwandan Coffee through the Cup of Excellence platform.